What's up everybody? This is Big Herc with Prison Talk and today I want to talk about what's your exit strategy? I know for a lot of you guys in the game you probably haven't thought about this or maybe you have but you gotta have an exit strategy and um, what I mean by that is if you're doing anything illegal under the table, you know, getting your hustle on um, I'm, not, I'm not promoting it but at the same time you know, you gotta have a plan and um, you know you can't do what you're doing for the rest of your life so think about what's your short-term strategy for you know planning out your financial future and it's no different than somebody playing basketball in the league um, you know somebody playing football somebody playing baseball soccer whatever the case may be you know you have a window in which you can capitalize on whatever it is you're doing so you know, if you're not taking any financial investment classes or any any college courses on business, start thinking about some things that you can do to kind of plan your exit. Um, you know, that may be maybe starting a, a kiosk at the mall where you're selling hats, uh, t-shirts, or something like that. Or it could be um, maybe investing in real estate. You know, local homes around the neighborhood. Uh, you know renovating homes or start your own maybe uh, construction business whatever it is you, you want to start thinking about that and and looking towards legitimizing whatever it is you're doing because the game only lasts for so long and um, everybody's got to have a plan and it, it and if you don't know how to manage what you make you're gonna lose it at the end of the day you know whether it's on lawyers whether it's by jackers whether it's by, you know, a bad lick, you know, anything can happen. So, uh, you know, get, get, get some game about yourself, you know, pick up uh, some success magazines, you know, maybe a Forbes magazines, and um, read up on what's going on in the world. I mean, you got all this money, and um, instead of hanging out in the hood, take a trip outside the hood. Um, take a trip overseas, maybe to China, maybe to Europe maybe to uh, some part of Africa and find out if there's anything you can do to get involved in maybe some import-export. You know, all it costs you is a passport and a plane ticket. And if you're sitting on all this money, why not? Why not take a trip out the neighborhood and see what's abroad? You know, there's so many different opportunities. You know, you're buying all these shoes made by Nike and Adidas and all these other companies. You can go to China and start your own shoe company. I mean, if you like that in the neighborhood, you know, produce your own shoes, represent. I mean, start creating some type of business where you're self-sufficient, you know, and employ some of the, the local kids around the neighborhood or homies and, and get them off the block. I mean, the ultimate goal should be for everybody to get off the block someday. You don't want to be an old man getting out the pen, trying to still hustle or, you know, work on a roof or, you know, bust ass up until your 70s. You know, think about that now while you're young and you can still make moves because you won't be able to make the same moves now into your later years. You know, while you're healthy, you want to capitalize on that. Um, real estate, you know, isn't a bad deal. You know, there's a lot of uh, houses going up. And if you got, you know, decent credit, you know, put down so much money on the house and, you know, may live there for a year and then turn around and rent it out or get you a duplex. You know, you can, you can buy into... Uh, a duplex and live in one of them and have somebody pay for the other one and basically live for free you know there's a lot of things like that you can do you can start you uh, um, an automotive shop you know you're in the cars a lot of you guys out there fixing cars flipping them and doing all the stuff start you a body shop you know hire you a couple guys start doing some body work get into doing uh, insurance work um, customization you know you, you can do something like that and you know start making some some good money you know it might take you a while to build your clientele base up but at least you're legitimizing, um, you know, clothing. You can get to manufacturing clothing. Um, you know, there's there's places where you can go, whether it be India, China, and you can start producing, you know, various clothing. Um, shit, there's a uh, tech. There's a tech industry. You know, you guys are involved in social media. You're texting. You're doing all this stuff. You know, see what you can do to get involved in social media. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do with yourself out there. You just got to, you know, expand your horizon. Uh, investments in stocks and bonds, um, investments in uh, commodities, all these different things are available to you. You can open up a Scott Trade account 
and start off with a thousand dollars and play with that and eventually grow your account and then by the time you get to a certain point you can just basically live off the residual income that your account's returning for you so that's another opportunity for you to work and have passive income but the goal is to try to create as, as many passive income hustles as possible so that you don't have to stay out there on the streets and put yourself in jeopardy you know it's, it's um it's, you know i've been there i've done that and um you know it's i wish somebody would have told me more about the game and laced me up on you know real estate um you know pro getting getting you know property maybe buying a building buying a land you know uh opening up a parking lot maybe a, a car wash you know a fast food restaurant all these are different things that you can buy into but um you know most of the time i had to go and try to figure things out on my own because i didn't have that education but i'm trying to lace you guys up so you can educate yourself and do something like that and make and make well for yourself and your family you know teach your family so they don't have to do what you're doing you're supposed to build up the game so they don't have to get in the game and that's the whole object of the game if you're in it if you're in it just for fame you're in it to be popular man just go get you a job but if you're in it to try to really build something and and, and create a better future for your kids and your family hey man have an exit strategy and start thinking about what you can do that's actually legitimate and that you and that'll make you guys uh you know have a future for your kids i'm big herc and i'm out